Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is M.I. Schloss, Life According to Maria. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and purge an existing picture, profile picture, from your Google Plus account so that it goes back to the little empty dummy blue uh, icon in case you guys don't want any profile picture on your account and also how to update your YouTube banner so that you either have um, you know no profile picture if that is your choice or you can go ahead and substitute that profile picture for an actual logo or any type of text so stay tuned and let's get started Okay guys, so this is what I'm talking about. When I go up on my YouTube banner, I want to see my picture here, which I did. I did a, I must say, really cute picture here um, with my banner. And what I don't want to see is another picture of myself coming through from the Google Plus account. And once you go ahead and put a initial picture, a profile picture on your Google account, there is no way on this planet to get it not to come up, to kind of say by default that you do not want any picture to appear on your profile. So once you create your Google Plus profile and you choose that first picture, you're stuck until you choose another picture, but you must choose another picture. There's no such thing as not having a picture there. Unless you pay attention to what I'm going to tell you and I'm going to let you um, follow the steps to go ahead and completely um, purge all of those pictures in your um, kind of special bucket that they have on Google Plus so that you don't have any pictures on there. So the thing that I wanted to do, and as you can see here, is I wanted to put uh, either a logo or something to the effect, my username, so that people can kind of uh, get some more information about me. I certainly didn't need to have a second picture up here for any reason. And when you go ahead and click on the little pencil icon to edit, it says that you must go to your Google account to go ahead and edit this picture. So if you click on edit, you will be presented with this. Pick a photo. Okay, there is no place on this planet that says do not, you do not want to use any of these photos at all. Okay, you have to use it. But the workaround is if you see this tiny little print here, it says go to Picasso Web Albums to manage your photo album. If you click on that, and I already have it up, so I am going to go ahead and get it here for you guys. This is my Picasso web albums. Now Google Plus is pulling from this Picasso area and you get on there by, if you just want to go straight to it, it's picassoweb.google.com and you'll get on there. And right here it says profile photos. This is where Google Plus is pulling all of those photos or giving you the choices of what photos you want. And honestly, it gives you the entire Picasso um, photo album, but this is where you really want to concentrate on, okay? In order to get your Google Plus to come up blank, you have to purge and delete every single one of these pictures out of your profile photos. So it is incapable of finding it. So basically what you would do is... Um, you can either delete album or delete each individual uh, pictures. And I just go ahead and delete the individual pictures because I really don't. I do want to keep, you know, the profile photo because basically that's where you're going to load up your logo if you want to, okay? And my thing is I don't want to have a blank little dummy picture on there either on YouTube because it looks stupid. I want to have my logo logo or whatever I want to say up in that little fragmented area on the banner and unfortunately there's no way to turn off as I know of to turn that off in your YouTube account you must have that stupid little you know profile picture up there I think maybe if you unlink 
or delete your Google Plus account, it won't show up, but you know, that's a pain in the butt, so who wants to do that, right? So anyway, um, you would go back to your, um, to your Google Plus account, and over here, you know, change your profile. It will come up, once you purge everything, it will come up as a, you know, little dummy uh, looking profile. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that in the video at the end because I took a screen capture of it. So you will see how that looks like. And then basically what you want to do, if you do want to put a logo or however you want to do it, in your YouTube account, you've got to put it into your Google Plus account. So you would click on that, and then basically under albums, uh, you see how it comes up on profile photos? That's where you would click, because that's where it's going to land. And then you would pick out, or you can upload directly from your computer by clicking upload. You can drag and drop once you have your JPEG or your PNG file, drag and drop it in here and then click set as profile photo and that'll work. I just, you know, usually like to choose out of an album or something like that. Um, one other thing that I found, and I'll cancel this out right now, that I found is it doesn't matter if it is a PNG file or a JPEG. You can't have a moving GIF, of course. Uh, it can't be a video clip or a GIF. But originally, I uploaded this PNG file as a smaller, it was something like 150 pixels by maybe 180 pixels. The recommended pixel size is 800 by 800. I went down to about a 600 by, I don't know, 450 or something because it's not a perfect square the way I created it with a transparency behind it so that uh, nothing else shows up except this uh, icon, this logo. And when I initially put it up as 150 by like 140 pixels, I did see it on my Google account here, and I saw it up here on my little icon, but for the life of me, it would not come back to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel stayed with this blue little dummy uh, icon forever, and I just couldn't understand why it wasn't updating, because it should, as you click on your um, refresh button, it should automatically have popped in there immediately and I waited and waited and waited and then what I did was I uploaded the same exact PNG file but made it about 600 pixels by you know 480 or 500 pixels like I said it's not a perfect square but once I did that and uploaded it again to my Google uh, Plus um, area here just basically reinserted it looked the same over here but then it immediately refreshed and it did come up so just a word to the wise make sure that your thumbnail is is uh, about that five six hundred pixel range or else it might think that the uh, picture is way too small and it might not render. So that's it, guys. I hope this has helped. I'm going to put all of my um, uh, screen captures uh, on this video at the end to show you uh, how I did it. And I hope this helps everybody because it sure as hell took me a long, long time to figure out how to purge everything out without... Um, having to replace it and it's totally up to you guys if you don't want a profile picture at all on your Google Plus account for privacy or you just don't want to bother with it at least this shows you how to completely purge it out once you have a picture on there and uh, if you do want to do it as a logo into your YouTube account because you have a banner that already has your picture and you don't want another you know picture up here and you want to do a kind of a cool logo of some sort for your business or for your channel, 
Um, I hope this helps too. So take care and I will talk to you guys later. See you in my next video. Please subscribe. I am putting up about two videos a week on various themes, mostly my, of course, natural beauty and health, healthy lifestyle, but I do do photography and software how-tos. So just stay tuned and please subscribe and you will get notified immediately when I upload. Have a great day. Bye-bye.